Evicting a tenant can seem like a complicated process, but in this video, we'll quickly explain the eviction laws in New Jersey and outline some simple steps that landlords can take to initiate an eviction. In this video, we'll talk about what the eviction process looks like, how New Jersey law handles evictions, and how to legally remove a non-compliant tenant from a property. Be sure to watch to the end of this video to find a link to a fillable eviction notice. First, what is an eviction? Eviction is the process of legally removing a tenant. Landlords can't just change locks on a property or physically remove a tenant from that property if the tenant has not paid rent. This is known as a self-help eviction and is illegal in every state. If a tenant refuses to leave after violating the terms of a lease agreement, a landlord must seek an eviction from the court. Eviction is different from the simple termination of a lease. A landlord can opt not to renew a lease after the specified term has ended, and there's no need to involve a court in this process. If a tenant breaches the terms of a lease agreement in New Jersey, a landlord can issue an eviction notice. In many states, there are many versions of this form to choose from, depending on the different circumstances. In New Jersey, one form covers all of these lease violations. The form is known as a notice to quit, and it asks the landlord to check a box to indicate what kind of violation the tenant has committed. If the violation is a failure to pay rent, then the notice to quit alerts the tenant that an eviction proceeding will be brought immediately unless the unpaid rent is paid. If, however, the landlord has accepted late rent from the tenant before, then the tenant has 30 days to either pay or face eviction. If the lease violation is something other than the non-payment of rent, the tenant has 30 days to either fix the problem or face eviction. If, however, the tenant has been found to be so disorderly as to destroy the peace and quiet of the landlord or other neighbors, or if the tenant has willfully caused damage to the property, then the tenant will be asked to move out within three days. These are breaches that are considered incurable and there is no obligation to give the tenant a chance to fix the problem. There's also a form called a 30-day notice to quit. This one gets used as a matter of routine to end month-to-month -month lease agreements. If the tenant doesn't respond either by paying rent or resolving the issue identified in the notice to quit within the allotted time frame, then the landlord can initiate an eviction action. The landlord does this by going to the special civil park clerk offices to file two forms known as a verified complaint and a summons. The complaint explains the nature of the lease violation and the summons tells the tenant to contact the office of the special civil part to find out what date the case is going to court. Once the filing fees have been paid, the court will deliver copies of both forms to the tenant. If the tenant fails to appear on the court date or if the judge rules in the landlord's favor, the landlord can apply for a warrant of possession. This document authorizes the sheriff to remove the tenant and the tenant's possessions from the property in the event that the tenant refuses to vacate. Some parts of the eviction process can seem complicated, but we have everything you need to get eviction proceedings going from eviction notices to court documents. Click the link below to get started. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos with important information for property owners.